Hello and welcome back to Tulsa, Oklahoma for the 2024 PDGA Junior World Championships presented by Innova Discs. This is the semifinal round of the MJ18 division and this coverage is brought to you by Gatekeeper Media. I'm Nathan Johnson joined in the booth today by Dan Brooks Wells. How's it going Dan? Doing really great Nate. It is a hot one today and we are out here at the semifinals and all these guys have earned their spot to be here, but this is this is it, man. This is to get into the finals, so got to put everything out there today. Yeah, we just had a cut to the top 40% of the field. After this round, we will cut down to the top four players, so keep an eye on these guys in the top 10. They are all fighting for their chance to play in the final nine in the last nine holes of this year's Junior World Championships. Exciting stuff, man. I'm excited to see how these guys decide to attack this course. This is the second time we're back here, and this is hole one, par three, 270 feet. You have to bear with us. There is a no-fly zone for this course, so we do not have drone coverage, unfortunately, but you're still going to get to see these guys shred it. Yeah, we're back at the Black Hawk course, the same course these guys were able to play for round two of this tournament. We got Ryan Mon leading the way. 40 under par through four rounds is pretty special. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we did not actually get to see Ryan play this course, and he did have hot round to put himself back on lead card at this course. So looking to probably do what he does and shoot hot round. But I think at the beginning of this coverage, I said double digits each round. I think takes it down and Ryan is kind of just doing that right now. Yeah, he is definitely on pace so far. Rest of the card are all familiar faces. We've seen them on coverage already this week. That was Harrison young right there with a beautiful park job to start his day. Everybody else kind of scrambling Mon up first, just a nice pitch up. He'll be able to save the par from there. Yeah. And if he can just, stay in the fairway, not take double bogeys. He, you know, he's going to be feeling pretty good about his chances. Um, unless one of these guys just going on an absolute tear. So here's a good tester putt to start his day. Kind of 40, 40 feet here. Oh, not a bad effort from Elijah Cleary. Just a bit right. Does not stick for him. So some tap-ins coming up. Harrison Young able to get a stroke on his card mates. Josiah Beachy tapping in as well. We saw him on that round four coverage. And Elijah Cleary makes his way back on the lead card after we saw him in round three, I believe. Yes, very good to have him back. And pay attention to that race. There is a lot of guys jockeying for position. So we're at hole two. This is a par four, 550 feet. Got to make sure you stay to the left of this big tree in the middle here. Hyzer in to the landing zone and then a hyzer up to the basket. If you didn't watch our round uh, four coverage, Harrison Young throws really far. And that was another absolute smash from him. <laughs> yeah. And this will be just fine. Anything over to this left side gives you a shot into the green. So well done there. Yep. Plenty of space. Just a nice soft hyzer. Obviously, you don't want to fade too much. There is rough over there, but um, definitely do not want to mess with the Mando tree. That can get you into some trouble. Yeah, there's there's just no reason, right? I mean, it's a pretty. I I would probably call it a shank if you miss this Mando, wouldn't you say? I would say, yes, I would agree. Yeah, yeah you're just not off by a little. Good looking shot from Cleary. He's got this kind of annoying tree in his way, but was able to bite off enough off the tee that he should have plenty of forehand power to still get it there with a standstill yeah nice and smooth i can't tell you i think like three out of the four players round two hit that tree it's just it's a magnet 
it's a large tree. So, you know, I don't blame him. <laughs> it is, it is definitely in the way you don't want to be right behind it. Cause that may be an impossible straddle putt if you do. Yeah, it's true. Really good, good upshot from to that one. Yep. And I like, I like having the forehand in cause it, it, pretty much takes that tree out of play for the most part like well except for harrison he threw it so far it uh it's in his way but able to work his way around it but leaves it a little short and he kind of did that last round as well a few times cleary a bit low on the birdie putt yeah this is uh just outside the circle for young after having the best drive of the group see how his putt's feeling early just a bit right. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, you know, again, we saw that a few times last round. If he can just get those up shots cleaned up a little closer, he's going to score a lot better. There was a great putt there from Circle's Edge as well. Yeah, Beachy gets himself on the board with a nice, confident putt. Well done from Cleary. Taps in the par, and Mon is going to tap in his birdie here. Oh. Harrison Young first, and then nice tap in birdie from Ryan Mon to get him on the board as well. Must be nice. Seems like a uh, nice open hole. We definitely get more difficult here as we get into these woods. This is a par four hole three 460 feet kind of working left to right so here we go starting these tight low ceiling gaps risk reward you can try and smash it as ryan does here or you can try more of a slower disc speed but this is i mean does it get much it's a jump putt. It's like, yeah <laughs> Well done. Wow. Yeah, it was so smooth, too. Just a nice slow turner. Drifted it right the whole way. See if Beachy can replicate it. This is looking like it's on a good angle. Oh, just catches that tree. Yeah. Not a, not a bad kick, though. He'll be in the middle. Have a clear up shot in. All right. This Harrison might be able to get to the pin. This is a bit early released, but it kind of sneaks through. Getting him yeah. probably pin high, just not right enough where he needed to be. I think the only way to really get a putt putt would be to go with this forehand play and just really hit something hard. This is looking good from Cleary. A bit early on the fade, but uh, it'll be a fine result. Yeah, it should be all right. Seems like... Nobody kicked into the deep rough, so everyone should have an upshot in. Yeah, and this is not the, the... Oh, he actually did kick in a little bit, but it's far enough up the fairway. Should be fine. Just a nice little pitch forehand here. Yeah, that'll do. No need to overcomplicate anything. A couple of long eagle putts, if you want to call a 90-foot a upshot a putt. Although this is, I, I'd call this a 70 footer. So this is mm -hmm. definitely um, a runnable look. Ooh. Oh, man, I mean, it's just like, like, you know, it's going to cross chains at least. Yeah, it looked great the whole way. Just dried up a bit short. We actually did see three Eagles on this hole. I think these are shout out worthy. Nate Framps, Tyler Peterson, and Ezra Lawrence. We're able to grab the two on hole three. Very impressive. And well done by our card. These guys are going to clean up a star frame here. Birdies all around. Yeah. Yeah, and something to be said about, you know, this is this is a pro tour level par three. So well done for those guys who got the. Hole 18 at Worlds, down by one. It's got to go in. Unbelievable. Yes. Yes. Moving on 
on to hole four. This is a par four, 515 feet. Common theme on this course with these tight gaps off the tee, low ceilings, winding fairways. Very demanding track. Mon is going to opt for the forehand. Wow. Can't draw it up much better than that. Yeah. He's he's showing us why he's leading by as much as he is. He's very consistent with hitting all of his lines and executing. Yeah, and, and that's the main, you know, especially these wooded courses for this tournament here in Post Oak. Priority number one is stay in the fairway. If you can stay in the fairway, these aren't the longest holes in the world or the craziest lines. So a lot of these shorter par fours, if you're just giving yourself a chance, you're going to score well. That is smoked by Harrison Young <laughs> way up the fairway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to your point, um, there's a lot of different ways that players can play this. I, I know we're seeing a lot of these guys go high speed, like stable to overstable driver and just biting off a ton of distance. But like I could see an MJ coming through and throwing his comment on every hole and just yeah. shredding it as well. So there's different ways to play this. And again, yeah, in the fairway, you're doing good. Pretty open upshot here for Cleary. He throws it very well, catches the koozie on his way in. Very well played hole. Yeah, these guys biting off plenty of distance off the tee. Just nice short putter shots in, probably less than 200 feet. Easily less than 200 feet. Yeah. Just got to make sure you have the touch on these upshots. There's a bit of hard pan up by the green, so... Something coming in hot like this isn't necessarily going to stick, but that one checks up nicely. Yeah, it's just this skill is just as important as throwing far, is just having that touch into the green. Doesn't matter how far you throw, if you can't put it inside the circle on your upshot, there is a solid putt there. For his birdie. Yeah, probably, I think that was a par from Beachy caught oh, on his way in, par. but no worries. This is a birdie putt from Cleary. Knocks that one down. Good first two shots, and yeah, a couple of short birdie looks coming up. Young. This one only about 15 feet or so. And he connects. Yeah, well done. These are all pretty much drop-ins for these guys right now. There's a reason they're here. They've been making putts. They've been getting their birds and saving their pars. So feeling good, putting good. And here we are at hole five. This is a par four, 560 feet. Dog leg to the left. Yeah, we mentioned it a bit when we saw this course for the first time in round two. The front nine is definitely the softer of the two nines. You want to try to get out to a good start because there are some dangerous holes with water in play on the back. That is a bit of a rude kick it's... that Ryan Mon got right there. Yeah. Does stay in the fairway, so he will yeah. should be fine. But uh, it was definitely getting another 50 feet of skip if it, if it missed that tree. Man, these guys are cutting this corner so thin. Young just getting around. He's still not in the not in the rough, so so we'll see what kind of line he has. This is looking like a little better line from Cleary. Has a good amount of width on it and skips past those trees that Mon missed. He will have a nice easy not easy, but open upshot into the green yeah i think i remember a quote by jay yeti saying there's no shot in disc golf that is easy there's Correct. pressure on every single one 
I, I agree. Still got to execute at the end of the day. Very well executed forehand roller for uh, Harrison Young after being out of position off the tee to give himself an outside look. Mon being back a little bit farther than probably what he's used to is able to throw a good shot in. Leave himself like a 28 foot birdie putt there. So far, he has been money on those putts. Yeah, ever since a couple of struggles in round one, we really haven't seen Ryan Mon miss too many putts. It's one of the reasons he is playing so well. That was a nice upshot from Beachy. Going to leave himself a stress free birdie. And that is a very overstable disc that Cleary just threw. Oh my Putting goodness. it on a, a cut roller angle and flattens out perfectly. He read it well. I guess know your discs. Uh, Young just leaving it a little bit short to the left. Going to have to settle for his par. And uh, uh, yeah. there it is. Reinmond's not settling for pars, and he is not slowing down anytime soon. Yeah. Four under through five start, picking up this final or semifinal round, doing what he's been doing all tournament. He's just, just giving himself circles inside the circle birdie putts and making almost all of them. Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice. Comeback or par putt here for Young. About, only about 20 feet or so. There you go. I like the amount of time he took on there. Not too much, not too little. Got to yeah. focus up on those. Make sure you knock them down. Again, guys, remember, only the top four make the cut. and You want to be there. Here we are at hole six. This is a par three. 217 I'm sorry 270 feet a little bit of a choose your own adventure hole a couple different yeah. options Ryan Mon opting for the forehand shot yeah and it was looking good just caught that last tree which will kind of keep him out in that circle two range but it's a well-executed shot. Just had to get a little lucky at the end. This one looks very similar. Yeah, I bet you that tree gets hit a bunch. It's like right. It's like right where a perfect shot comes in. Yeah, that tree is not going to get hit from this side, or at least I would be surprised if it did. But no, oh, it's a different tree. <laughs> Nobody can park this <laughs> hole. It's tough. Ugh. Everyone can get inside the circle, but nobody can pin it. It looks, it looks like there's a straight at it, but these these uh, hyzer shots from either way tend to be a little bit more consistent. Yeah, so pretty much everybody just hanging out from between 25 and 35 feet. Let's see if they can knock them down. Decent effort from Mon, but just a little left. Good, oh, putt, a good solid though. stroke there, confident bid. Yeah, nice birdie from Cleary. Beat you actually a little bit closer than I originally looked. Ooh, kind of was a weird reaction in the basket, but eventually sits in the bottom for his birdie. Yeah, and at, the, at, at this point, fifth round in. These guys should be pretty used. You know, all these guys have been on film. There's, you know, potentially they're not really feeling it as much anymore. They're getting used to it. Um, and a lot more putts seem to be falling. Yeah. Especially this early in the round. Maybe towards the end, if things get a little tight with that fourth sure. place spot, we might see some nerves and some potentially some strategic layups. We'll, we'll have to see. 
Nobody is immune to a course like Northwood Black. Just throwing laser beams. That's so good. Bresnell, the birdie, the fist pump. Critical shot. Got to get up. Bresnell. That is a shot of a champion. Your 2024 Champions Cup winner, Andrew Bresnell. <laughs> on to hole seven this is a par three 310 feet another tight wooded hole maybe one of the tighter gaps on the course between these two trees that kind of frame the fairway we saw a couple different guys go with this flex forehand line in round two cleary gonna try to do that maybe a bit of a misrelease but it works out for him I like this idea of this flexi forehand getting through here. A little low, though. Whoa. Wild reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Off a root or something. Just skips straight up in the air. It's not something you see every day. Yeah, this looks good here. It needs a little skip. Kind of gets eaten up by that tall grass there. Yeah, not much ground play on this hole. Grass is pretty thick. Nobody really able to get up inside the circle yet. Let's see if Ryan Mon can do that. This one is looking really good. Wow, what a shot. Pretty far bid here. Definitely got to give it a good run, though. Yeah, doesn't leave it short. You know, respect that. Making sure you give it a chance. Yeah, tough lie there for Cleary. Didn't really have too much. Couldn't give it the height. Young, though, does have an open putt from about 40 feet. Uh, gets a lot of chains. But just a little bit high left. A little bit of a comebacker here. Got to make sure this one drops. Yeah, well yep. done. Nice, nice not to be scared of the comebackers. You know, you know these guys know they have the skill. I, I said it in a few rounds too. You're able to run these putts a little harder for your birdie because you know you can make those comebackers. So a nice birdie for Ryan Mon. The rest of the card going to be settling for par. And we are here at the exciting hole eight. This is a par three, 360 feet. Got to hyzer it out over this water and bring it back in towards the green. Anything that goes in the water goes to the drop zone which is, we found out, is not an easy approach. Yeah, it's instant bogey at best. This is exactly what Ryan Mon needs to do. Very safe, very inbounds. Um, par on this hole for him is fine. There are a couple of these holes that are multi-stroke swing type holes coming up. If he can get through these without taking a huge number, like if he pars all of them, that's great because this is can happen easily. That is too wide from Cleary, Man. and uh, he's headed to that drop zone. Yeah, it, 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 just, it just can't happen um, this late in the tournament. That is a great mm -hmm. shot from Beachy. Enough width to get the carry, but not too much to where he was ever worried about that dropping in the water. And this one is an ace run, it looks like. Come on. Whew. Yeah. Skips just past. That was so good. 
And I mean, if you're trying to get that birdie, you either got to spike it in, right? Or you do got to like land it five feet to the left of the water. Um, so it, it is a really tough birdie, but these guys, it's just not worth it to take uh, the bogey on one. I don't believe the risk reward is there. So at, lot, at least, or definitely not at this point in the round, right? Maybe, right, maybe down right. the stretch in a tournament, but. A little off for Mon. A little bit. He's gonna have a he's gonna have a long look for his comebacker. And here is Young Circle's Edge. Man. Yeah. The last the last two rounds we've seen him on the putting green. It's just been two inches low, two inches high, two inches left. And uh yeah, I mean if he's if he's making those putts, he is competing with Ryan Mon right now. I, I think he would only be a couple strokes off. So that's the difference at a, at a tournament like this, that, that consistency to be able to put it dead center every time makes a big difference. Beachy just outside the circle knocks that one down. That is a nice birdie from him. Yeah, really good birdie there. This is definitely, this definitely feels like a bonus feels like a bonus because it is <laughs> second hardest hole on the course That's fair. averaged uh 3.2 strokes so it's a it's a good one to pick up mostly just because like you said earlier it's a hard hole to park exactly yeah 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 and then the people who do try to park it have to risk yeah going to that tough drop zone but really good i mean nonchalant comebacker from ma no worries at all He's definitely feeling good, continuing his flow from the other rounds. We are getting to the end of this front half on this semifinal round. These guys kind of, you know, kind of got to start looking at the scorecard here soon or, you know, the standings soon. Um, this is a tough and fun one as well. This is a par three, 390 feet. OB on the left and right. Definitely birdieable. Um, but if you are off a little bit, you can go OB. Yeah, this one's skipping a little left, but it looks like it just hangs on. The uh, the OB2 comes into play more if you're short. If, if you can get to pin high, there's a lot more land on each side of the basket. Right. So if, if you're Ryan Mon here or anybody else on the card, um, you got to you got to maybe disc up a little bit just to get at least pin high. Yeah, just blast it. That's a good call. And he does pretty much just that. Yeah, I mean if that's the same width but 50 feet shorter, he's probably in the water. So mm -hmm. a good play there. Harrison Young is the, this feels Gosh. like a mid-range. But can it be? I guess so. Uh, and I think that did find the out of bounds, unfortunately. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I like your play. I like your idea of just blasting it past. And I mean, if you throw 430 feet, you're only 40 feet past it. So yeah. And worst case scenario, taking a par. Right. Right. So. Right. Yeah, so that did go out of bounds. I think that's a yeah, that's a nebula. I think if that's an Ezra stamp, man. So overstable mid range, and oh, this is another punishing drop zone. Doesn't get the par putt from where he went out. Has to go all the way back here. Just got to drop. Yeah, It'll be fine. So Cleary here. It looks like he just stayed in bounds, give himself a putt. Just missing it a little low off the cage. Now, I know these guys are young, right? I know these guys have all the energy in the world, but do you think it's the fifth round, five days in a row, they have any sort of, you know, getting tired? Do you think they even think about that yet? I, in general, I don't think so. Let's see this. First, it's long putt from Beachy, just a bit low. But something we have not mentioned is this round started as a shotgun start at like eight or nine in the morning. 
And I don't think most of these teenagers usually wake up that early. So I think yes. that may be more of a factor than them getting tired from five rounds of disc golf. I think these guys are used to playing multiple rounds a day, you know? Absolutely. But you know they're up late playing video games and whatnot. You know, this is your NCAA football 25 did just come out, so there I can't go. blame them. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to gloss over that great birdie putt from Ryan Mon. Gets him to six under through nine. Just doing doing what he needs to do. Keep yeah. separating himself from the field. Yeah, when you know the other guys are seeing that as well. I don't. They, there's no way they're still really thinking about it. They just got to think about jockeying for second and third um, right now to get to that final nine. But here we are after after the front nine, and it's yeah. definitely a battle for that second you know second and third place there. Yeah, as we take a look at the rest of the leaderboard, Lauren Butterball putting his name in contention with a six down through nine. Lucas Carmichael doing the same. We'll see if any of those guys can make the jump into that final four. We got nine holes left in this semifinal round. We'll catch you over there.